my workshop. No, that'd be great. Okay. Recording. Okay. So see where it says play and it's in big letters because I want you to play. <laughs> so it's called tagged object 1060. Oh, there we go. Okay. And you can even get rid of the menu so that we're just focused on the objects. You close the menu in the upper right hand corner. Oh, you know why? Because this is, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know. Those are, the picture is irrelevant. <laughs> okay. Um, but what's happening here is that this object, tagged, op, tagged object 1060, because it is tagged with tagged object, mm -hmm. it's, gonna, it's running through template multisequential narrative. So if you click on the template name, template multisequential narrative, yep, and open that. Um, when you look at it, it's like, doesn't look like there's anything in there because you have to edit it, okay? So what this does is says, okay, any, any tiddler that's tagged with tagged object, that's that first line. Yep. And if you change the name of the tag, it will work for any, right? Right. Any tiddler, do this. First thing, put a, car a line, an HR, a uh, horizontal rule, and then the words begin template and code, and then the name of this tiddler template multi-sequential narrative and a couple of breaks. So if you scroll up, you'll see that there's the, this is all debugging code, right? Keep going. There, see where it says begin template? Yes. Okay, so that's being written from the template. Does, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so then, so that I just wanted to show you, and then we can edit that template, but it's just telling, it's just telling us a little bit about this tiddler. So line zero, zero, this tiddler is tagged with Hindu for its ethnicity, mm -hmm. and dancing for its activity, and at home for its theme. Okay. Okay, and if you scroll down to the template, it tells you it's tagged with pound, pound ethnicity, is the value of the field ethnicity for the current tiddler. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sense. And then in, in, um, in, in commenting is ethnicity in parentheses. Okay. So then it says, oh, the cat, and this is all stuff you're going to get rid of. This is just so you can keep track of what's happening in your tiddly wiki. So that tells you the caption and all that stuff. So then um, let's scroll up to the object. And let's look at line one. So what does that mean? You can click on it if you want. What does it mean that the Hindu tiddler before this one is tagged object 1055? And now the Hindu object before the, this one is tagged object 1050. And keep going back in the Hindu objects. And now it's going to take us to 1050. And now 1040. So what does that mean? What is this? before and after me. Okay, if you scroll up and click on the Hindu tag in this tiddler, okay. that's all the tiddlers that are tagged with Hindu. Okay. 1,000, 105, 1010, 10, 1015, 10, 10, and what are we into? We're into 1045 or something like that? Yes. We okay. start, so now we're, you'll see that we're gonna go back 1040, 1035, 1030, 1025, 1020. You see how that works? Mm -hmm. So we're navigating up and down that list of tiddlers tagged with Hindu. Okay, so I look at that. Okay, and then if you look at the one, before, you can close off of that so that we can get our screen back. And then the, the Hindu tiddler after this one is tagged object 1055. And because of the way I built your data set, every five objects is gonna go, is a different Hindu object. Okay. Okay, and it's the same thing for singing. And why is the singing tiddler before this one a different than the Hindu tag tid tiddler before this one? So why is line one in your, why is line one, scroll down a little bit. Yeah, okay, yeah. Why is line one different than line two? I'm sorry, line one different than line three. Oh, because we're going with a different ethnic group now. No. We're going with the singing tiddlers, not the F, not the Hindu tiddlers. Um, 
Okay. Now you can't navigate to the previous Hindu tiddler. Why not? Because this tiddler isn't a Hindu tiddler. So the concept of there being a previous Hindu tiddler that this tiddler is related to makes no sense. Okay. This tiddler's in the Bhutanese Nepali list and the singing list and the at home list. So okay. it's multi sequential narrative. You've got three narratives running one called ethnicity, one called activity, and one called theme. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then any individual tiddler, this particular tiddler, will allow you to navigate on three narratives, the at-home narrative, the Bhutanese Nepali narrative, or the singing narrative. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's, I, that makes more than sense. That's super cool. <laughs> We've been trying to do this for a year. That is really cool. <laughs> so, all this pulled from Google Sheets then? Or was this it just from the code that you had created below? This is all pulled from your tiddlers, and your tiddlers are created in a Google Sheet. Okay. But we can um, also make it so that you can, and I just brought in your pictures with tags. If we bring in your pictures without tags, mm -hmm. and you have your students tag them, or your participants tag them, by activity, ethnicity, and theme, or whatever you want to use, then within your Tiddly Wiki, we can turn on navigation and they'll be able to navigate along the list that they are creating. Okay, that's really cool. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. That's right? So, yeah, and I, I knew that I wasn't getting that through, that you were, it's like, so now we've got both ends, we've got a tagging structure and a navigation structure. And the only thing I haven't shown you how to do yet, because I realized this last night, is I haven't shown you how to turn on tagging. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna figure out now. Um, and so to do that, um, let me go back to my Firefox because I just added the functionality to your wiki, but I forgot to build a link to it. Um, so, um, Okay, so it's going to give me one second. It will literally be one second. Drag some more tiddlers over. And I think that's where I was getting confused that you've created this as a demo more or less, um, and then I'll be able to do this in reality with what the students actually do end up tagging. Yes. Okay, that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, and now, um, reload this tiddler. Or the whole. Yeah. yeah. And, um, Search for pop up tagger. Yeah, reload, really, yeah. Okay. And I will I will add to the documentation, but it's this is search for welcome. I think it's in there. In the search box. Oh I'm sorry, what do you want me to search for? Um try welcome or pop up tagger. OK, 
capital W welcome, I think. Well, um, try and reload again. Let me see if it, maybe it didn't sync to Dropbox. Sure. It might take a second. Multi sequential narrative, 13 minutes ago. Ooh, that did, that's, that's, um, you know what would help? What? I, <sighs> I can switch over to Firefox too. That be no, no, no. It would help if I had saved it to the Dropbox, to the Firefox version instead of my Dropbox version. Okay. But that was my problem, and I will fix that now. Um, okay, I did it all wrong. Parent and child tags. The pop up tagger control page. And um, That's not good, almost. Sorry about this. So what you're doing now, you've included the pop of tiger on this wiki now. Save and reload. That looks good. Okay. At last, sorry for the delay. Reload again. Okay. Well, make sure that it's synced. Yep, 17 seconds ago. Okay. Yay, there it is. Okay. So. We'll screen this. So it's active. So scroll down and do um, parent tags. Okay. And click on ethnicity and activity and theme. Okay. And scroll up to the proceed button, which is a little funky. It's right here. Yep. Okay. Okay, and then let's lift, let's lift location list right after title. So there's a little pull down in the location. Yep. Yep, and let's list that under title. You have the first one. And then do a filter. Um, um, down below, that? yeah, that. Okay. And um, so we need a filter expression. Let's use um, tag, yeah, and it's tagged object. God, you're getting good. <laughs> um, tagged object actually. Uh, capital O for object, sorry. Okay. Yeah, not that good. <laughs> there it is. 
Looks good. Okay, and now verify or proceed above. Proceed. You're good. Okay, so now um, close this tiddler and go to an object tiddler. They're actually sort of hard to do. Tagged object 1060, and hopefully the tags are there, and they are. Sort of. Um, yeah, we don't want to do that. So hide tags, go to pop up tagger, or click tag table. Okay, if you'd like that, that's tag table. This is awesome, and this is what I'm not getting to work on. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm thinking that we could do is um, import your spreadsheet with no tags. And then as people tag them, the narrative will emerge and the, the, the sequential narratives will emerge. Can I set it up that they'll all default to um, at least be tagged with a photo going in? Yes, they'd be tagged with tagged object. That we're using, I'm using, I switched it to tagged object. You can change that if you want to photo for your purposes. I was trying to make it a generic tool for everybody. Oh, I'm, I meant for the actual tags themselves because I tagged, because I have instructions and then I have the photos in there. So I tagged everything in that wiki with photo. So is there a way that we can do that so that I don't have to manually go in and, and tag each one individually? Go so back to the spreadsheet. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and make you a little less. Um, actually, there's a link to it on here. Spreadsheet multi-sequential narrative right in the 21st February. Yeah, right. Um, that's the template over there. Spreadsheet. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to get you to wean you off a little bit of your Tiddly Wiki and the idea of you ever actually going in and editing Tiddlers by hand. Okay. <laughs> so if you click on that spreadsheet, and this one conveniently happens to have all of your images in them. <laughs> so it's useful. And tabulous. Yeah, so you can make a copy of this. Okay. View only, yeah. So you can make a um, file, make a copy, I guess. I don't know why it's not, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So what do you know about these objects? You know the titles. So I'll go to raw data because raw data is where you want to play. Okay. Oh, snap. <laughs> I love that. That's a new one. All right. <laughs> yeah, so go to the raw data. Yeah. So those are your real file names. <laughs> okay. okay. And I gave them a sequence, whatever they're, you know, and then the tagged object is where we're going to pull the name of the tiddler in okay. column C. Okay. And then column D, click on column D, um, the first value, the second value. Yeah. So, you're going to have people write captions, correct? Um, yeah. Well, see, that's a tricky thing because I don't know what they're going to. I know that they want to identify ethnicity, but beyond that, I don't know what common themes until they actually start tagging. Exactly. So, why don't we just have the caption be the name of the tiddler, C2? So, go up to the formula. Okay. And, um, um, well, let's think about this. Um, do you know the names of your, your fields that you're going to work with? Um, it's similar, ethnicity, activity, and location. Ethnicity, and what was the other one? Um, activity. 
and yeah. location. location yeah. Unless they decide on other things also. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's skip caption for now. We'll come back to it. Okay. Um, you don't know the ethnicity of any pictures, right? I don't know. Okay. So that's good. That's what they're going to add. Okay. Yeah. So you don't want column F or G or H. Right, you just those are just not of interest to you. Um, I mean, they are, but I just I. You don't know what they are, so you're not ready to put them in yet, right? Right. Yeah. So you can just delete columns F, G, and H in your own copy, of course. Yep. yep. <laughs> Had to delete rows. Um, yeah. There's okay. Yeah. Um, delete columns. There you go. Okay. And um, yeah, and so now all your captions are broken. That's fine. So you don't actually don't need D either. Okay. So you can get rid of D. So you're, we're, we'll figure out where your captions are going to come from later. Okay. There's your raw data. That's what you know. Right. Okay. Okay. So now go to your single tiddlers. We might have a little bit of work to do there. Yep, we don't need columns B, C, D. E. <laughs> mm -hmm. So B, C, D, F, and G. Well, let's get rid of them first. Okay. Okay, we're going to keep text and tags. Don't get rid of that yet. We're going to have to tag it. Okay. And then um, reference, I don't remember what that was. We don't need that. Okay. Okay. Um, so what, what, what do you want to tag, tagged object 1000 with? Photo. With photo instead of tagged object? Okay, so go to raw data. Okay. And at the top column where it says C1, it says tagged object. Yep. Change that to photo. Cool. Cool. Okay, it's tagged to photo. It's, and so then in single tiddlers, what do you want to tag it to? So click on C2 and equals, and click on raw data, and you want to get to um, D2, photo. Yep, and hit return. Okay, and then copy that all the way down. So you can copy and then go down one cell um, yeah, but you can just do a Apple, what are you on, Windows machine? I can't remember. No, I'm on my Mac. Okay, so, you know, Apple C, and then go down to four. The copy, then go down to four, hit shift, down arrow, mm -hmm. and paste. You already did that. Yep, so we see Shift, that. down arrow. Shift, all the way down. Shift, down arrow, takes you to the bottom of the spreadsheet. Maybe it's control, shift, down arrow. There we go. Okay. There we go. Looks like you, yeah, you missed one. It's okay. <laughs> done, done. Okay. There we go. So now, um, okay, good. And let's look at tag tiddlers. Okay. So tag tiddlers, um, you, you're not going to be able to build I had built them for Hindus and playing and singing. So you're just going to build it for ethnicity, activity. Oops, we have to go to raw. You're not using the word theme. That was my word. What word are you using? It's B11. Um, location. B11, where's that coming from? Location. Yeah, that's actually, that's a, that's a, you actually write that word in tag tiddler. So change it to location. Because it's. Yep. Okay. And what do we know about location? We know it's a dimension. Right. That's all we know about it. Okay, you can get rid of the first 13 rows. Or not the first row. Yeah, this, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like you need to put ethnicity and activity in there. Okay. And um, the sort field is, that's, that's a little tricky. <laughs> um, I haven't really implemented that yet, but ultimately what that does is going to say ethnicity is going to have a field called sort. And so whenever you ask ethnicity to be listed in a list, I want to sort it by the activity. What I haven't implemented right now, it sorts it by the tiddler name, which in your case is the photo number. Okay. So we'll play with that. That's easy to fix and change in the future. Okay. And so look at constants. Constants. <laughs> oh, no. Yep, again. Okay. Constants are just things that I'm using. It doesn't look like I'm using PIX. I don't know where PIX is going to anymore. But constants is what we're using to build those links. So if you want to make the pictures bigger, you can change it here. Oh, okay. So then you don't have to change them every one. Okay. And you might do this like 20 times and import. What you're about to do, you're going to do frequently because once you get this to work, it's good. But when it's broken, you want to fix them all at the same time. You don't want to have to, you never want to open 180 titlers again. Yeah. <laughs> like, nothing right. Happens, right? <laughs> um, okay, so I think we're ready. Um, so, how do I do this? Okay, go back to the... Um, well, we're going to play now. I'm going to make, I'll make you a, a better demo in a minute. It'll take me like an hour, so I'll fix it for you. But right now we're just going to overlay all these tiddlers. So you're going to have a hundred and you're going to have too many tiddlers, but we'll figure out a way to get rid of them. Cause you basically want to create a clean copy with no imports right now. Right. Right. So, okay. So go to single tiddlers and do file export as CSV or download as CSV. And um, ooh, weird. Okay, and um, open and open that in. Why do you? That's weird. Do that again. File. Oh, it's just it's calm. Yeah, no, we don't want to open. Why does it? Why doesn't it not give you the option to save? Do oh, because you're in Chrome. Yeah. Okay, so if you go to Chrome Pref, I don't know. You light users. <laughs> no power. You can go to Chrome Preferences. I, I don't really know. <laughs> oh, go to Chrome Preferences. Okay. Uh, Chrome. We've got a lot going on. Hope this doesn't crash. <laughs> it shouldn't. <laughs> I don't see your preferences, though. Are you seeing them? No, I'm trying to open this. Dun, dun, dun. It looks like your Excel is like wanting some attention. Yeah, we try to stay out of Excel. We don't need to get, we don't need to detour through Excel. Yeah, I think it, that's just what we're talking about. Yeah. Probably under force quit under the Apple, there's a force quit button and you can kill off the Excel. Or you can just quit Excel, yeah. So then under Chrome Preferences, 
this is actually kind of an important part because it will make your okay so back up and then um So scroll down a little bit, and we're looking for the save file. Uh, maybe it's on advanced. Jeez, really? We're looking for where it saves for downloads. There you go. Always ask where to save file before downloading, which you will. When you get tired of that, you can turn it off there. <laughs> so now go back to your Tiddler list, your copy of Tiddler list. It's like your sixth, yeah, and file save as, um, file download as CSV. And it should ask you where to put it. Hello. <laughs> computer always like this yeah it's okay. it's older yeah just got to get me through the semester <laughs> there you go. Okay. so now let's put it in your dropbox uh dropbox or github put the little right box the little thing right next to save as that little pull down there that'll give you a much more expanded menu not that one mm -hmm. up higher oh here uh, yes there you go This is, yeah, you're, you're suffering from a lack of RAM. <laughs> so click on Dropbox there. Do I want it in Dropbox or do I want it in GitHub? Either way. Either way. And um, let's make a new folder. Uh, yeah. New folder button on the bottom. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. I don't know. Just call it whatever. There you go. And then save it, and it's really what you want to call. Yeah, you want to call instead of naming it as they've named it. Yeah. Name it um, um, single tiddler CSV. Um, so dot CSV. It, it, the um, unclick hide extension. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So now you've got it there. Yeah. Okay. And um, and while you're Okay, so it downloaded. And while you're at it, go back to your copy of Tiddler List, reload it, I guess. I don't know why you have to keep reloading it. That's so annoying. And do the same thing for, do the same thing for PAG Tiddlers. Do the quick download of CSV. Yeah. And you shouldn't have to navigate, it should be in the same place. Yeah, exactly. Tab Tiddler, exactly, yeah. And then go back to your new Tiddly Wiki that we're working in. Do you have a wiki we're working on? I think it's the multi-sequential one. Oh, okay. Uh, where does that go? Oh, over here. Okay. So now this is a Dropbox version. So what you want to do is a file. This is Chrome, right? You want to do a file save as. Put it in your Dropbox in the folder we just said. It's already there. So... You know, you, that's fine. Uh, make sure it's web page HTML only under the format. Okay. That seems to be important. Okay. Yep, and save it. And now go back to Firefox and open that in Firefox. Okay. Just so that we're confident.
a file open. Right to your file open. Yeah. I'd be crazy. <laughs> it is nutty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Good. Tiddly Fox works. Okay. So then um, there's a CSV to JSON converter tool under the build step two. Mm -hmm. And um, click on that. And then you want to upload your tiddlers, single tiddlers file. So do a browse. This is perfect because I have to build this demo anyway, so it's much easier and better to have it than me do it. Because it always works when I do it. It's unfair. It's like your car to the stupid mechanic, you know? Okay, so what single tiddlers? Yep, exactly. And then we're going to do the same thing for tag tiddlers. Okay. And you should see them. They look pretty nice there. I like that. Okay. And then scroll, keep scrolling down. And then um, do this first option, CSV to JSON. And then keep scrolling down. And then download result. And rather and save file here and um, okay um, you know what hit um, go to Firefox preferences that's what I was afraid of so go to Firefox preferences oh, so I can just drag and drop okay but I wanted you to rename it as well okay so Firefox preferences. and same thing ask me where to save my files which is as you transition save files to ask me where as you transition from being a reader in Firefox to a writer, mm -hmm. it becomes important to have a little bit more control over your browser. So no. Anyway, so now do that to go back to the um yeah and do download result and save file. And then I suggest you rename it to match your CSV file. So it's single tiddlers dot JSON. And so you want to put it in the same Dropbox folder. Yep. Stand photos. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just want to get rid of it. Yeah. Single tiddlers.json. You don't need the CSV. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Save. Okay, and then while you're at it, let's do the other one. We're here, which is scroll up. Um, I like the clear input, so scroll down a little bit. Okay. There's a clear input bo button there. Yep. Okay. Um, this is a little funky, so, you know, it's not... Sometimes it works. Usually it works. When it doesn't work, when it stops working, If you've, I find that if I do it like 10 times in a row and change the little things and do it, do it, do it, if it stops working, you have to close your browser, start over, take a deep breath, and then do it again and it will work. Awesome. <laughs> That's not very useful, but it seems to work for me. Tag Tiddlers is what you're on. Okay. Tag Tiddlers.csv and open. Um, scroll down. I mean, that's like so, that's very simple. Scroll down. 
do the, it already generated, but you can click CSV to JSON anyway. Uh, it's there and download the result. Um, save the file and call it tag tiddlers.json. Oh, fudge sickles. Let me just uh, let me try that again. And when you've done this many times, yeah, if you double click on that word or actually grab that word. When you um, call it tag tiddlers, just like you called the other ones, they're not actually tags. They're tiddlers that are tagged, so they're not tagged. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when you do this over and over again, you just click on the name of the file and it will rewrite it. You say, sure, rewrite it. Okay, so let's go to your tiddly wiki, your fourth tab in there. And I think I might have moved the paper clip out. I did. So, um, um, yeah, you're in Firefox, so we're in the wrong. Yeah, um, that's not the right. I don't know where it is. I've had so many open. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. You, you can just reopen it. Oh, right here. There okay. it is. Okay. There. That's the file. Yep. And so now do the paper clip, which is the import. I don't know why that's import. Um, it should be in the same directory. Nope. Okay. But now once you switch it, it'll always remember spam photos. And let's do single tiddlers.json. Okay. Open. Hold your breath. Hope for the best. Open. Yes. <laughs> and that's where sometimes it doesn't work. It's like, oh. All the way down, there's an import button. Yep, and do the same thing again, paperclip, and do it for tagged tag tiddlers. Now you've got me saying the wrong thing. <laughs> tag tiddlers.json. Excellent. Okay, so now go down, and um, we've got a bunch of tiddlers. It's not going to be the, the old, it's called photo, so you can search for them. You can search for photo, lowercase p, I think you made it. Oh, cool. Okay. 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 Can't tag it. Why not? Go to your tagged photo setup or pop-up tagger. There it is. And okay, scroll down. What's it? What's the filter? Click on filter. So it's tag photo. Okay, and proceed. And click on parent tags because we did this before you had. Yeah. Remember, we did this in your Dropbox version, so you have to include ethnicity, activity, and theme. That's so cool. It's working. And um, proceed up above in the parent tag. It's a little flaky, but it's cool. Okay. Good. And scroll up. And do you want it's active? Do you want the tag edit, the tag table, or the tag bar? You can play with those and choose which one works best for you. There are three options. I don't think you want tag edit here, by the way. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want the thing to pop down as a table or to show up as a bar. I kind of like the bar myself, but you can choose whatever works for your people. Of course, okay. they can change it themselves. <laughs> make sure it's active. And when you're done with them tagging, you just turn it off so you don't make it inactive. Okay, okay. cool. Yep, so, save, so you can close that. It probably looks like I want you to save for some reason. Okay, close that and let's go back to your photo 1000. Oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> yeah, and there's probably nothing there, right? Under ethnicity. Oh, there is. Um, why? Oh, because I think that's still left for me. Okay. Okay, so, you, so theme, where's theme coming from? Where the hell is theme coming from? Oh, because you clicked on themes. Do pop-up tagger. That's my fault. Pop-up tagger because it's, it's, I haven't, you know, it's still built as a demo. So you're, you're writing on top of a demo. So we have to fix that for you. Um, there, it's on the bottom of your list. 14th February pop-up tagger. Okay, thanks. And um, scroll down. 
Oh, okay. Turn theme off, add in location, which is lowercase l. And scroll up to proceed. Yep. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now save again, and now we can go edit photo 1000. In fact, ooh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Yay. And so let's add a location. You know how the, new, and you've worked with the new tag before, right? This I haven't now. So click on the pencil. To, da, 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 that's tricky. That's like the, yeah, click on that and get, create a new location tag. Where, where are those people? Okay, that's good for now, right? And save it. And now go back to location and it should be there. Yes. Yeah, okay. So they can add tags as they're going, right? Yes. Yep. And say how, yep, and add activity. And you can get rid of dancing, eating, playing, and singing. If you delete oh. them, then they won't be there. Okay. And same with ethnicity. And maybe those, I took those ethnicities from you, so I don't know. You can get rid of them by just searching for ethnicity. Actually, I don't know if you can, if there's a link to it. So you actually may have to. Oh, it worked. I was able to delete that one. What's that? I was able to delete the one that didn't go on. I'm, I'm sorry, Nessa, what'd you delete? Oh, I was it Bosnian. Oh, okay. I just added it and deleted. Okay, yeah. So, so now once you tag, like if, if, what I would suggest, I don't know if you have time today, but I, go and tag five of them you know, with stuff. And then let's see if the, if the navigation works. Um, <coughs> search for multi-sequential narrative. It's right on the right there. So this tells you how the thing works. Go to the template and edit the template. And instead of tagged object, change it to photo. And instead of theme, change it to location all the way through. That's a bunch of them. I mean, this is, this is a little bit handwork. There's actually only six of them. I, I would grab that location word and copy paste it, but whatever. Yeah, it's down there. There should be two of them at the end. Uh, there's a, there, it's in the it's in the code as well. Oh, okay, thank you. So do you see how that code works? That line of code that works. It says, "Give me a list of my tiddlers that are tagged to location that are before the current tiddler." Yeah, this is really cool. And after the current tiddler, that's like what we've been trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> so now, of course, there aren't before and after in Photo One Thousand but let's look anyway, because there's only one tag, one photo that has tags. Okay. So as you build in, they'll show up. And then ultimately we're gonna edit your template and build a fancier template. Right now, this is what I call debugging template. You know, you'd never show this to a human being, but you're not a human being, you're a coder now. <laughs> So for now it works, and as you tag more, and if you want to turn that off, you just go to the template multi sequential narrative and edit it and put an X after the word photo. Big X. Oh, big X? Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and save it. And now photo 1000 doesn't have any of that stuff in it anymore because it's not reading through the template. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, so that's how you turn it on and off. And okay. the same with the tagging bar. Once things are tagged, you might not want that tagging bar there anymore. So you just change the filter of the tag bar to photo X and it will disappear. But it's still there. Okay. That's super cool, right? That is really cool. 
So now you've got the same tiddly that people can use to tag in and that they can see the results. Yeah, this is amazing. So yeah, this is, I'm excited about this. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna use our demo today and I'm gonna roll it out to the class and we're gonna use this to teach the very concept of multi-sequential narrative. So if, if you think about it, what you've got here is a narrative that your people, your readers can navigate on the basis of ethnicity, location, or activity. Yeah, that's going to be huge, especially if it uses the 20,000 photos in the future. That's going to be huge. Well, and there's no number, of, there's no short, you can have as many tags as you want. Yeah. But right now we're going to work with three, and, and this would work for the serial narrative, right? So you can go, right? You can go to the next Adnan, Tiddler, the next whatever. So this works generically. That's what's cool about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, so I don't know if you have time today because you probably have a day job. Um, but yeah. if you, but check it out and see if you can get some stuff tagged and um, send me a link. And once you've got like five Tiddlers tagged and there's, and there's actually navigational stuff in there, send me the Dropbox link. Okay. So cool. So, and then your thesis stuff, we'll talk about that. But basically what I think what we had called when we started the goat work last summer, non-sequential object oriented narrative, I've settled in on the term multi-sequential because the concept of a non-sequential narrative doesn't make any sense to me anymore. Yeah, multi makes a lot of sense. There has to be a sequence. You can't not have a sequence because there's always a next and a before or a prior, you know, before and an after or next. So that's why I'm calling it multi-sequential. And, um, and if you look in the design right, there's beginning to be some readings about multi-sequentiality that might help you a little bit. Okay, great. The last thing I want to leave you with is I encourage you to watch the video as soon as it's posted. It might have been posted already about the conversation that Jeremy Rustin and I had last Thursday. Okay. He used your, because, you know, I signed the class to read your Tiddly Wiki based on, um, from your independent study last fall. Oh, yeah. And he, and we used that as the basis and we were going to talk about it, but then he had some really nice comments to say. He just thought it was great and he loved it. Oh, that's great. I'll have to check it out. Thank you. Yeah, so, so you, there's, like a call, there's like a shout out to your great work in, the, in last week's um, conversation video. Oh, thank you. That's great. Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, so this is all, this is like, I'm just so excited over the weekend. Laura was yelling at not really, but I just keep sitting. I'd come in from the barn and I sit down. It's just going to take me like 10 minutes. I just have to do this one thing. I thought about it in the barn. I know how to do it. Of course, it took an hour, but anyway, you're here and I think that We've never, we've, we've got this, this is just in time thesis development work. And so you should be good to go from here and then we'll keep making minor changes, but the fundamental structure is here. You can use the spreadsheet to import it. You've got your 200 sample images and I think you're good to go. Okay, now going from here though, um, do I still have the students work out of the tiddly spot that I created or should they be working out of this instead now? You can move this to Tiddly Week. You can move this to Tiddly Spot. Yeah. No, okay. you should use this because this calls images. Currently, they're stored on my. Um, they're stored under my account. But oh, okay. They're not Dropboxed, and we'll be able to move them all. And with one thing in the in the spreadsheet, change the name of the server to yours or Catherine's or anywhere, and it will all still work. Okay. So that's the power of the spreadsheet. Really, when you, once you once you get beyond ten tiddlers, you really need to. You don't want to be editing them by hand. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's brutal. <laughs> yeah, tagging them by hand is fine because th those are your users. Yeah. But beyond that, we're not going to no more changes to, and that's the that's the that's the um, intelligence of the template. You just change the template, and everything changes. That's awesome. Which is, yeah, no, this is, thank you for sticking with it. This is great. I look forward to seeing your work. Okay, great. Thank you. Take care. See ya. Bye. Bye.